Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is some of the things that it takes to start an ISP. Now, this is a very big topic. I don't think I'm going to be able to touch everything. I do have experience with this, but I, I'm trying to make it simple because I know there are a lot of people out there that want to start a WISP or they want to start fiber to the home and they don't even know really where to start. So we're going to go over uh, some requirements. I kind of split it up into three different areas. We're really going to concentrate on the technology side, the configuration side here, and then I can help get you to people that can help put all these other things in place. So welcome to start an ISP. And I've got three areas of requirements. So the first re set of requirements that you have to understand are your legal and regulatory requirements. So you're going to need a business, you want to register your business uh, with whoever takes care of that in your area. Um, I'm kind of speaking broadly, because if you're in another country, I'm assuming you're going to want to start a business to do this. So you need to make sure that you get your business registered. Then in some countries, you have to have a telecommunications license to be an ISP. Now, while you may not need that in the US, maybe some localities do um, require that. And then if you pr are providing phone service, you're definitely going to have a mixture of some of these things, right? You need to make sure you understand the uh, local laws, the data privacy laws, um, especially if you're in California, uh, Illinois, New York, a lot of these places. Uh, if you're in Europe, GDPR, you got to understand privacy laws, how they impact ISPs. Uh, universal service funds. So uh, some jurisdictions will make you pay into that universal service fund, or uh, you will have to, if you're getting government money, you do have to, you know, provide service to underserved areas, things like that. You're going to need to understand interconnection agreements. And I have people who can definitely help you with this, but you are going to want to negotiate interconnect agreements with existing providers um, and you're going to want to hop on internet exchanges and things like that, possibly. And if you get big enough, then maybe you'll have one of those big red Netflix boxes sitting in your network, right? And then you're going to need to understand right away and access permits. So you're going to need permits for, you know, laying cables, installing equipment, uh, if you need to do towers, things like that. Um, if you are uh, building at a WISP, and you may not have a tower, but you may be on a green uh, bin, bin leg somewhere, you got to understand all those kinds of things. So that's kind of our legal and regulatory requirements. Then some administrative requirements. Now, if you are going to go borrow money to do this, right, if you don't have money socked away, or you don't have subscriber to, subscribers already lined up, and you're going to go somewhere and you're going to ask for money to start this venture, you're going to need to have a business plan. And it's going to have to be comprehensive. Uh, with market analysis, financial projections, and operational strategy. Otherwise, people who loan money are not going to look at you. Uh, you need to understand what kind of insurance and the coverage you need, liability, uh, property, um, who knows. If you start then consulting for your clients, you're probably going to need uh, errors and omissions, all those things. So check that out. You're going to need to have... Uh, you know, customer service agreements, privacy policies, terms of service, acceptable use procedures, and they have to be written clearly. And um, you should make sure that you're abiding by legal requirements and that your legal team has vetted those. And then depending on where you're at, you may have to tax service. You may, uh, besides the government taxes you have to collect, you may have to actually tax your internet service. So make sure you understand the tax laws. Now, down to the technology requirements. You're going to have to understand network infrastructure. You know, are you going to use fiber, wireless, satellite? Are you, you need to plan the deployment? Do you have the tools to plan the deployment? Are you going to purchase or lease fiber? Are you going to lay your own? Are you going to purchase, build, uh, or lease towers, antennas, and all these other things? you got to understand that. You have to understand how you're getting to the internet. So do you have an internet backbone access? So are you getting one gig, two and a half, five, 10, 20, 40, 100 gig? Who are you getting it from? How are they delivering it to you? IP addresses. Are you renting IP addresses from your upstream? Or are you going to get your own 
uh, ASN and get your own block of IPs? Are you going to get on the waiting list for IPs or are you going to go to auction? Is somebody going to transfer them? You got to, so that's for public IPs, right? Not your internal network IPs, but public IPs for your customers. That's what you, you've got to know that. Network hardware and software, you're going to have to have routers, switches. If it's wireless, you've got to have the wireless gear. If it's fiber, you've got to have the fiber gear. So you need internal network gear, external network gear, and then you got to think about how you are going to manage and monitor it. Now, with the videos we're going to do, it's going to be pretty easy because we're going to be a complete ubiquity shop, and I'm going to get to that here in just a second. Cybersecurity, you need to worry about that that these days, right? So you've got to understand like where your information sits, how you're protecting it. You need to do security audits, all those things. We can help you with that. Uh, customer support infrastructure. So how are you running your customer support? Do you have a help desk? Is it a, a phone call system? Like how is that working? Obviously you're going to have to take telephone calls because if people are down, they can't submit tickets. So you've got to think about how are you going to do the customer support piece of it? And then the billing and management systems. So you're going to implement billing software, customer management, all those things. So a lot of this stuff that we're looking at here, guess what, is going to be um, included in our UISP because we are going to run UISP. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a breakdown of the equipment. And then in the next video, we're actually going to get a router, a switch, and all this equipment hooked up. We're going to get UISP installed. UISP will probably be the first video um, because we need to get that ground. Well, it'll probably be router, switch, UISP, and then this gear. But let me show you what I've got. So I have the Ubiquiti uh, OLT-XG, which is, you know, the 10 gig fiber stuff. So let me show you all of the equipment that we've got here to make this work in the lab. And uh, I'm looking forward to setting this up, but I'm going to go over everything that we've got here. Thanks to Ubiquity for sending this out. But we've got everything we need to get the lab up and going. If you want access to this lab once it's built, I will be giving accounts, UISP accounts, and you will be able to go in and take a look at this and get your hands on it. Uh, we will also have on our community at community.willyhow.com, there will be a whole section dedicated to this and supporting uh, the lab so you can take a look at this. So the very first piece of equipment, probably not the first one we should take out of the box, but it is the first one we're going to take out. This is the uh, Fiber OLT XGS, and this is going to be in your head end or in a cabinet um, out in the field. comes with a box of accessories. But this is what the unit looks like. Now, if you've seen the, the standard OLTs, they're black. They look like uh, almost like an edge router infinity. And these are silver. And I cannot wait to get this started. Because we do have on-prem here, we have a 10 gig speed server. And so we're going to be able to see what clients are actually getting. So here you can see UISP on the front. We've got all of our connections for our fiber and management up there. And then on the back, we've got redundant power supplies. And this thing is hefty. All right. The uh, next piece of equipment that's kind of direct in line with this is you got to get your fiber in, right? So the next piece you're going to see is our optical WDM module. And this is where uh, we're going to bring fiber into. So we'll get this all set up. I'll explain how this all gets hooked up when we do the rack build video. That'll be coming here in the next uh, week or two. Um, then... We've got some patch cables, and you can see that these are the uh, single mode patch cables. Uh, 
We've got the UF splitter. So, and when I take all these apart and we hook this up and we fire it up, I'll explain some of this stuff more in depth. And then we've got the, we've got a couple optical uh, transceivers. We've got a, an optical transceiver for the unit. We've got a GPON OLT SFP module here. We've got uh, a 50 pack of optical adapters. And then we have all of the stuff that's going to be uh, considered, you know, uh, cu customer premise equipment. So we've got a fiber XG unit. We've got a fiber XGS unit. And then we have a U fiber Wi-Fi 6. So we are going to get all of this hooked up. We're going to show you how to configure it. We're going to show you how to set up. Uh, UISP so that you can do this and uh, I hope you run with it. We've done a lot of consulting now on the UISP gear and I've been bugging Ubiquity for a long time to get me some of this gear in the lab so we can open the lab up for folks that are interested and so that we've got uh, we're not necessarily playing with gear uh, hot you know on a on a customer install. So I'm super duper excited about this. I hope you are too. So come back for the next video. The next step is to get rack ears on this stuff, get it all racked up, get the, the ISP portion of the rack in. The one thing that I'm waiting on is I've got a server coming with 10 gig interfaces uh, that I'm going to be using for UISP. So as soon as that comes in, we'll be able to get that video done. I expect that to be in in the next week or so. But uh, if you've got any questions about this, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with our community link, a Patreon link, and if you need IT consulting and uh, anything from building service provider networks to small home networks, corporate networks, the whole bit, reach out at willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I can't wait to get this going. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.